Bills, Diamondbacks, the first ever Game 7 in uh, Phillies history, 141 years. How about it? It's every single person you talk to is like, I'm excited and I'm nervous. It's just like the biggest mash of those two things I think I've ever felt. Last night in Game 6, it was the Diamondbacks that would jump out early against Aaron Nola. These are special games here, Game 7, and it is Ranger Suarez on the mound for the Phillies. Well, you can't argue with those numbers in the postseason, but trying to give you fans at home a little peek into what's working so far for Suarez against the Diamondbacks. Look for that fastball, two-seamer that he throws into the right-handers. That was the key in game three. Let's see if he can establish that tonight. Cattell Marte, an MVP candidate in this NLCS if the Diamondbacks win. 2-2, two -two. and down he goes. Off speed, and Marte down on strikes to start the ball game. Here's Corbin Carroll, who had a hit last night in the ball game. Also laid down a sacrifice, but he needed the hit. Bouncing ball up the middle. Going to be a tough play here. Stott fields it, but no chance to get Carroll. And it's an infield hit. Corbin Carroll is aboard in this first inning. Here now is Gabby Marino. Three and one. Carroll takes off, and the pitch is lined into right. A base hit. Carroll on his way to third now. Gabby Moreno, the talented young catcher, just continues to hit. His seventh hit in the NLCS. First and third for the Diamondbacks here with one out in the opening inning. Christian Walker in a big spot in this first inning. Broken bat, ground ball. Boehm to second, close play there, no play at first, so out at second, safe at first, a run comes in to score, and the Diamondbacks put one on the board in this first inning. Here's Tommy Pham who homered last night. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Diamondbacks get a couple of hits and one run in the first. They leave him in, and we're going to the bottom of the first here in South Philly. It's Arizona 1, and the Phillies coming to bat. 25-year-old right-hander Brandon Fought, the rookie, Ronnie, gets the start in this Game 7. You know, guys, 12th rookie to start a Game 7. You can throw out those numbers. Uh, he has improved so much. Three different stints in the minor leagues, each time working on his craft. He's at his best right now. He's got Kyle Schwarber to lead off. And he struck him out. Back to the changeup. And Schwarber is gone. Good start for Brandon Fogg. Turner, who had a long postseason hitting streak, that has uh, come to an end and uh, hitless his last couple of games. Turner breaks his bat. Here is Perdomo in the bright shoes. He makes the play, and two men are out in this first inning for Brandon Fogg. The Phillies trailing 1 0, and Bryce Harper batting for the first time here in game seven. He struck him out swinging. Fogg starts the night by striking out Schwarber and Harper in the first. So Guriel singles to start this inning. Already the third hit against Ranger Suarez. There's Evan Longori, who doubled in a run in the game last night. Had a swing at a fly ball left field. Straight away, Marsh backs up a few steps. He'll make the catch. There's out number one. Here's Rivera, who is, as we mentioned, playing third base tonight. And Guriel takes Two. off from his knees. A one hopper in there, not in time. Guriel steals second base. Popped him up, got in on his hands. Harper is under it. Two gone. Well, here's a guy in Perdomo who had a good year with runners in scoring position. Swing and a line shot up the middle, stopped on a hop by Turner. His throw to first. A little low, but Harper's got it. And Perdomo is retired, and that'll do it for the Diamondbacks here in their half of the second. Alec Bohm will lead off here in the second. And the first ball is deep in the left. See you later. Alec Bohm, a solo shot to tie it. That is what the Phils desperately needed. Alec Bohm with his first home run this postseason, and what a time for it here in game seven. We start over in the bottom of the second. Here comes Bryson Stott. Now Stott on the first pitch. A fly ball, center field. Carroll eases back. He's got it at the track. Here's JT Real Muto. 2 2. Fought deals. And he gets Real Muto. A strikeout. His third already. Second out of the inning. Nick Castellanos bats now with two down. In time, and he strikes out Castellanos swinging. So four strikeouts, two in each of the first two innings for Fought, but he does give up a run. Arte struck out swinging to start the ball game. Strike three called. He got him looking. Fastball and Marte turning away from it. Just keeps on turning back to the dugout. There's out number one. Corbin Carroll had an infield single his first time up. He hits that ball sharply into left center a base hit. So Corbin Carroll coming alive here. Three hits through the first six games of this NLCS. He's got two here tonight in game seven. Reno single to right his first time up. Carroll dancing at second base. On the ground to Turner. Carroll has to go to the bag, and Turner makes a play for out number two. Walker drove in a run on a fielder's choice in the first inning. Walker, a little flare, foul territory, and Suarez 
gets out of the inning. And the Phillies have their leadoff man on and getting the leadoff man out man out there is big. Here's Rojas. Rojas bunts again. He's fast. Got to hurry. Fought. Makes the play. Close play though. Rojas was burning down the line. That'll go as a sacrifice bunt. Marsh advances to second base and the Phillies have a runner in scoring position now with one away. And they also love Kyle Schwarber coming to the plate here. Strike three. Fod rings the bell on Kyle Schwarber. Perfectly placed fastball. Got a generous call at the bottom of the zone. Schwarber is out. Strikeout number five. And here's Turner. On the ground. Nice pick over there by Rivera. And that is the inning. One, two, three. Go the Diamondbacks. And that is a strikeout for Ranger Suarez. His fifth. Middle of the fourth at Citizens Bank Park. Phillies won and Arizona won. And a one-out walk. Brandon Fott, who in his 12 and two-thirds had walked one batter so far in the postseason. Now 15-plus innings of work with one, now two walks. Bryson Stott, second look here at Fott. Flew out to center field on the first pitch his last time up. And he sends Allen into left center field. That is going to get down, and to the wall it goes. Boehm racing around the bags. He'll be sent home. Throw to the plate. Not in time. Phillies lead 2-1. to one. Bryson Stott with an RBI double. Mr. Two-strike hit this year for the Phillies, and he delivers again. It's his first double of the series, only his second extra base hit of this postseason. And what a big one as J.T. Romuto will bat. And that one is through for a base hit. First and third with one away as Romuto delivers a base hit. Castellanos with runners on the corners. Swing and a miss. And Castellanos down on strikes. Another beautiful sweeper. I said, he's just got to stay sweeper heavy on that guy. Well, here is Marsh. And he has been one of the more dangerous hitters in this postseason. He takes outside. It's ball four. Base is loaded now with Rojas coming up. And he struck him out. Fought with a big K. But the Phillies take the lead on the RBI double from Bryson Stott. And Rivera just volleyed it right back up the middle. And the leadoff man aboard now for Perdomo. Two hits yesterday, including a bunt single in yesterday's game. And he pushes one. Suarez will calmly... Make the play at first for out number one. It's a sacrifice for Perdomo. And Rivera to second base carries the tying run. And now Marte. Marte, a swing and a miss. Curveball puts away Marte. He's got the hat trick tonight against Suarez. Carroll is two for two with a run scored and a stolen base. Runner at second. Carroll up the middle and a base hit. Rivera round third. He will score the tying run. And Corbin Carroll, his third hit of the game. An RBI single. It comes with two outs. And it's a 2-2 ball game in the fifth. And Rob Thompson is on his way out. And that is the end of the line for Ranger Suarez. Jeff Hoffman coming on. Tie game. He's got a high leg click, kick and also brings his, his left knee back almost behind the rubber. That gives Carroll plenty of of time to be able to get a good jump and probably steal second base. I'd love to see him either do it the first or second pitch of this at bat. Here is Moreno. Carroll takes off from his knees. No chance. Big jump by Corbin Carroll. He steals his second base of the game. And Moreno into right field, a base hit. Here comes Carroll. Castellanos has a cannon. The throw is cut off. Carroll scores. Moreno in a rundown, a backhanded flip and out at first. But the Diamondbacks take the lead. Moreno and Carroll, the 23-year-olds, get it done once again. So Schwarber will head into second with a leadoff double. Again, here's that spot where you've got Trey Turner coming up. He's hitless with runners in scoring position this postseason. Bouncing ball to Rivera. Looks Schwarber back, and Turner is retired. Out number one. Three-two ball game. Diamondbacks lead. Runner at second. Bryce Harper at the plate. And Harper in the air to left field. Guriel is back. Feeling for the wall. He makes the catch. Harper just missed it. Alec Bohm is going to be coming up. And he'll face Ryan Thompson. Bohm pops it up. Thompson two pitches. And he is going to get the Diamondbacks out of this inning. Lourdes Guriel, second hit of the game. Seven hits in this NLCS. And Guriel is aboard with two away. And now Longoria, who is 0 for 2. Let's see if he can connect with a first pitch heater. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that will do it for the Diamondbacks here in the sixth. It's a 1-2-3.
bottom of the sixth inning turned in by Ryan Thompson. We are done with six. We are on to the seventh. Diamondbacks three, Phillies two. Perdomo, an all-star this season, taking over as the everyday shortstop. He's got a one-out single against Alvarado. It's been a rough night for Cattell Marte, batting right-handed. He has struck out three times. Right field, Castellanos on the run, can't get it. It's over his head, one hop off the wall. Perdomo to third, he'll be held up there. It's a double for Cattell Marte. That's a National League record in the postseason for consecutive hits. It sets up the Diamondbacks here in the seventh, second, and third with one out. The batter's going to be Corbin Carroll. This will be lefty on lefty. In the air to right field. Should be deep enough. Perdomo tags. Castellanos the catch. And Perdomo will score. And Corbin Carroll. It's his game in game seven. His second RBI. He makes it 4-2 to two, Arizona. And Alvarado unable to do his job. Gives up a run here. And he'll give way to Zach Wheeler. Wheeler will try and get Gabby Marino with Marte the runner at second. Swing and a miss. He got him. And Zach Wheeler comes on his first ever relief appearance. Starts with a strikeout of Gabby Moreno. Back to back walks from Saul Frank. And the fire is hot for the Phillies right now. That brings up Trey Turner. We'll see if it brings out Torrey Lovello. He's got the right hander Ginkle waiting. Turner a fly ball into center. Alec Thomas camps under it. Pache about halfway. He goes back to second as Thomas makes the catch, gets it back in. And that's out number two. And now it's Ginkle against Harper with two outs. Hitters count. Harper a high fly ball to center field. Thomas settles under it, and Kevin Ginkle delivers two big outs for the Diamondbacks. And uh, he'll head to first base with a leadoff walk. All right, here is Alec Thomas now, bats for the first time in this ballgame. Thomas down the right field line. Castellanos got a long way to go, and he makes the catch. Walker has to retreat. So one out now for Lourdes Gurriel Jr. There goes Walker, pitches inside, and Walker's going to swipe second base. Eighth pitch of the at-bat, Gurriel. Shallow left center, long run. That is going to be caught by Turner. Snap throw to second. Walker is back. What a catch. Trey Turner, like a wide receiver going into the end zone. Yeah, what a catch because Marsh had no chance at this ball. Oh, my. No ordinary shortstop can make that play. Now Longoria is going to be pinch hit here for it by Pavin Smith. Left field, it's not deep. Marsh is calling for it. He's under it, and he's got it. So we'll score this eighth inning for Zach Wheeler, despite the leadoff walk. Kevin Ginkle fans the side in the Philadelphia eighth. The fans are booing here at Citizens Bank Park as we move to the ninth. Diamondbacks for Phillies two. All right, here's Rivera's got a hit and a score to run. Rivera, skies one, shallow left. Marsh. And a bit of a late break, he runs it down for out number one. Well, they're going to get the lefty into this game, and Zach Wheeler, who goes an inning and two-thirds on his uh, side day. Geraldo Perdomo, who homered off Zach Wheeler in game one, and he's got another base hit. Perdomo with back-to-back two-hit games. He is aboard with one away. Well, speaking of a blow, Marte could maybe put this one out of reach with a long blow here. And a swing and a miss. Strom strikes him out for the second out of the ninth. Carroll will bat with a man on and two out. One and two the count. Perdomo takes off and a swing and a miss. A strikeout to end the inning. It's Paul Seawald, the big trade acquisition for Mike Hazen coming from the Mariners. He's got a chance to save this one and send Arizona to the World Series. He was the biggest piece that they got at the trading deadline, and he has not disappointed. Nick Castellanos will start it. Castellanos, a fly ball to right. Carroll is there. Diamondbacks are two outs away now. Another 0 for 4 tonight. Here comes the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. Marsh flicks one to left field, going back on it. Guriel, he's got it. Two outs in the ninth. And it's going to be Jake Cave getting that at bat. Seawall to strike away. Here he comes. Cave, a fly ball to right field. Over is Carroll. He's got it. And the Arizona Diamondbacks are headed to the World Series. For the second time in their 26-year history, they have upset the Philadelphia Phillies. They come back after losing the first two games here in Philadelphia. They went four of the last five, the last two here at Citizens Bank Park, and they beat the Phillies four games to three, winning tonight's game by a final score of four to two.